to another one of my videos. This one is for Great Minds or Eureka Math, uh, Module 2, Lesson 8, Division of Mixed Numbers. In this one, we'll learn how to divide mixed numbers. Um, in order to successfully divide mixed numbers, you'll need to convert them all mixed numbers into fractions. So you'll need to have everything into fractions. Then you'll write equivalent multiplication problems. So we can multiply by the reciprocal. And we've done this in other videos. If you have a question with that, you wanna watch lesson four video. That will help you out with that, where we really put all that together. So the lesson four video. And then we will simplify. So as we go through these, um, that's the steps we're gonna be doing. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at this, okay? We're just gonna do a couple of problems today. Um, if you have any questions with division, like I said, go back and look at lesson four video. Um, so here's our first problem here. Um, Carly has four and one half walls left to paint in order and for all of her bedroom bedrooms in her house to have the same color of paint. However, she's used almost all of her paint and only has five sixths of a gallon left. How much paint can she use on each wall in order to have enough to paint the remaining walls? So go ahead and what I want you to do is pause and think about this in a minute, see if you can figure it out. Um, that's good practice to do on all these problems is to pause and try them on your own before just at least get yourself thinking about it and see if you can come up with some kind of solution. But we're gonna show um, how we can do this one using our strategies of multiplying by the reciprocal. So first thing we need to do is we need to take this, first of all, let's set up our problem. So we have, we need to see, this is how many walls she has left to paint. This is how much total paint she has. So our division problem is five, six divided by, because that's our total, divided by four and one half. Okay, in order to complete this problem, we need to change four and one half into an improper fraction. And we've talked a little bit about this, but let's just go ahead and kind of review. Our quick shortcut is this, is we multiply the four and the two together because each whole has two halves. A lot of times we just put the little multiply here to show that we're multiplying it. So four times two is eight. So that tells us this is equivalent to eight halves plus the one half we have here. So we got eight halves plus one half, and that would give us nine halves. So again, multiply the new the denominator times the whole because that will tell you how many of the halves in this case you have, then add by the to the numerator and that will tell you how many total pieces you have. So we end up with nine halves. So this original problem, the five six divided by four and one half is equal to five, six divided by nine halves. Now, because this is a fraction, we can use the idea of rewriting it as a multiplication problem, which is what we've been doing, by finding the reciprocal of the divisor, which is nine halves. So again, we end up with five, six, notice that five, six is not changed at all through here especially right here, five, six stays the same. And now we're gonna multiply it by the reciprocal of nine halves, which would be two ninths, okay? So we're multiplying by the reciprocal of that. So again, that's our rule, multiply by the reciprocal. That's the way we divide fractions. So we multiply by the reciprocal, we multiply straight across. So five times two is 10 and six times nine is, I know six times 10 is 60, so six less than that would give me 54, okay? So 10, 54. Now, that is an answer. If we don't ask you to reduce it, doesn't say anything about it. Usually you do want to reduce it, 
One thing I know is both of these are even. So we can go ahead and divide them both by two. Divide them both by two, and we will end up with five. No, half of 50 is 25, and half of four is two. So add those together, 25 and two would give me 27. So five 27s. And those five is prime, and it won't go into 27, so that is simplified. So 10 54 or 5 27 is our answers for that one. And again, if we can, we do want to take it down to simplified form as often as possible. Now, sometimes on these, if you end up with an improper fraction, if you start with mixed numbers, we usually want to write our answer as a mixed number if we have an improper fraction. So that's be aware of it. If you start with, imp with mixed numbers, your answer should be as a mixed number if you have an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and look at our next one here. Okay, the only other one we're gonna do is example one on page 36. So go ahead and take a minute if you can and see if you can solve that on your own. Pause the video and see if you can do that. Okay, again, in order to do this, we need to change this to a um, improper fraction. So we're going to multiply 7 times 3, which would give us 21, plus the 4. So 21 plus 4 is 25. So that is in, as an improper fraction would be 25 sevenths. And our original one was 2 fifths divided by 25 sevenths. So again, we just rewrote our mixed number as an improper fraction. Now we can change it to write it as a multiplication problem. So we got two fifths times the reciprocal of 25 sevenths, which is seven 20 fifths. Okay, so we multiply those out. 2 times 7 is 14. Then we have 25 times 4. I know that, or 25 times 5. I know that 25 times 4 is 100. So we're just going to have 25 more. So that is just 125. Okay, um, the only multiples of this is 5, and 5 won't go into 14. So that one will not simplify. So we can just leave it as that, 14, 125ths. Now again, if you, um, if you have an improper fraction, you're going to want to take it back to a mixed number because you um, started with a mixed number. So go ahead. Um, you can start the problem set with this. Um, we will have another activity we might do, but this is an example of how you can do. And then you can go ahead and work with the problem set, or there will be some con videos we'll be working on with this too. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day. Bye.